Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are here visiting Calle Ocho, right here in Miami, Florida. You heard that right you guys, today we are visiting Calle Ocho or 8th Street here in the popular neighborhood of Little Havana here in Miami. The neighborhood of Little Havana gets its name from the city of Havana in Cuba. This is because of the multiple waves of Cuban immigration who have made Miami and this neighborhood their home. Cuban immigrants have transformed this area which you can see reflected on its people, restaurants and businesses that you see around here. The goal for today's video is simple, to tell you a little bit more about Calle Ocho and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. Alright you guys, so we have just made it here to Calle Ocho and Little Havana of course. We know that because there's a sign right here that says welcome to Little Havana and a really colorful rooster that says Calle Ocho. Currently we are right here in front of the Little Havana Visitor Center. There are lots of things to see and do here at Calle Ocho and in Little Havana so if you want to learn more information definitely check out this place. To get to the first attraction that I would like to show you today, we simply have to look down. That right there, you guys, is the start or the end, depends on how you want to see it, of the famous Calle Ocho Walk of Fame. This attraction right here is obviously inspired by the world famous Star Walk of Fame in Los Angeles. However, this one specifically celebrates Latin American artists and celebrities with ties to South Florida. Specifically, people who have made an impact in shaping this neighborhood of Little Havana. Some of the most popular stars to visit include Celia Cruz, a really famous Cuban singer. This was the first star to be added into this famous walk of fame. The more you know. And if we turn around real quick, that's the star. There is a mural dedicated to Celia Cruz right here on the side of this building with her famous catchphrase, Azúcar! Although I think she said it with more flair that I simply cannot do. The one for Julio Iglesias, a really popular singer and songwriter, can be found right across the street. That is right, both sides of the street have stars, something that I had not realized. So I guess I have to make my way back on the other side of the road to see what other stars I can find. I say this because the Calle Ocho Walk of Fame runs from 13th Avenue all the way to 17th Avenue. Of course, all along Calle Ocho. Right along the Calle Ocho Walk of Fame, in fact, you can see a star right there on the ground, is another very popular attraction. That right there, you guys, is Domino Park, but more than just a park, locals see this place as a tradition. In the park, you'll find locals playing dominoes and enjoying good times with friends. Looking online, I saw that anyone over 50 with a Domino Club card has free lifetime membership to play here. So no, you cannot just show up and play. They do say that games can get intense and that people don't mind having an audience. Let's see if that's the case and if I can record inside. So this is the official name of the park, Maximo Gomez Park, but it is widely known as Domino Park, like I said earlier, 
And if you look here at the entrance, it says Domino Park. All right, you guys, let's go inside. I want to take a look around this place before we actually take a look at one of those games. So the first thing I notice is this structure right here. I think right there in that sign, it tells you more about the rules and how to become a member so you can play here. And as it says right here, you need to be a Miami-Dade County resident of 55 years or older in order to be able to play here. One of the first things that I noticed was this mural that surrounds the entirety of this wall over here. As you can see, it continues over here and it goes all the way, all the way to the end over there. The mural here depicts the leaders or presidents of the American nations, which were part of the first summit of the Americas, which was held here in Miami in 1994. That is a fact that I didn't know before making my way here. The park also has a statue, or I don't know how to call this thing, of the namesake of this park, Generalissimo Maximo Gomez. And here's the plaque with more information if you would like to learn more. Moving on, we see how this place is set up. This is not a really big place. For reference, that is the entrance right there. And if I turn over to this side, you can see the end of the mural right over there. So Domino Park is not too big, but we can say that they use their space really well. Now let's see if we can take a look at one of their games. All right, you guys, so the last location that I want to show you today is not really along Calle Ocho, but it does begin along Calle Ocho. Let me just show you. This right here, you guys, is the beginning of the Cuban Memorial Boulevard, which sits at the intersection of Calle Ocho and 13th Avenue. The purpose of this park is to serve as a place to remember those who fought and perished during the Cuban Revolution. There are a few monuments as part of this park, so let's look at a few of them. The first one is the Bay of Pigs Invasion Monument. That was a failed invasion of Cuba done by Cuban exiles who wanted to overthrow Fidel Castro. Definitely read more up on this one. Up next is a silhouette of a soldier which represents the anti-communist efforts in Cuba from 1860 to 1866. This statue right here, which is right behind the silhouette of the soldier that I showed you earlier, is of Nestor Izquierdo, who is considered a Cuban revolutionary hero. Further down the park, we see a statue of the Virgin Mary. This one more specifically is called La Virgen de la Calidad del Cobre, or Our Lady of Charity. She is actually the patron saint of the island of Cuba. She became this after Cuba won independence from Spain. The more you know. Up next is a silhouette of the island of Cuba with an inscription right over here which says La Patria es Agonía y Deber or the homeland is agony and duty, which is a quote by Jose Martí, a famous poet and Cuban national hero. This last one right here is dedicated to General Antonio Maceo, who is considered to be a hero of the independence of Cuba. As you can see right here, the park keeps going and going, but I think I read online that the monuments are restricted to the first three blocks. If that is not the case and there's more monuments in this direction, please do let me know in the comments down below. But for now, we are done checking out this attraction.
I think this is the place that I decided on. Check it out, you guys. It says right here that they have authentic Cuban food and to not ask them for tacos. I don't know anything about Cuban food, so hopefully I can find something good. This is the menu, but uh, honestly, I was looking online for typical Cuban dishes because like I said, I have no experience with this. And uh, my server actually recommended me these two, the ropa vieja and the vaca frita. And I decided to go for the ropa vieja along with the two like usual size that it comes with, which are arroz blanco and black beans. But as you can see, there are so many options. And as I was finishing my sentence, you guys, they actually already brought my food. That was so fast. And check it out, you guys, what else arrived? My mojito. I was actually gonna try the Cuban beer because they told me, but honestly, I wanted something stronger. So I got the mojito. So check it out, you guys. This is how it looks. This is white rice. These are black beans. Not a lot to say there, but I'm excited about the shredded beef in Cuban style. I wonder if there's a specific flavor or something like that, but uh, I guess we'll only know when we try it. Oh my goodness, guys, this is actually really good. I'm definitely enjoying my meal. Look at this, you guys. I don't know if I was super hungry or the food was just so good or a combination of both, but I literally cleaned my plates. Oh my goodness, guys, that was so good. But you know, I cannot leave this place without trying a Cuban cafecito. So I got myself one. This is so cute, it's like a tiny cup. I don't know what I was expecting. I've had uh, Cuban coffee before, but definitely not served like this. It looks like you're playing with like your little niece or something. Let's go, cheers. Dang, that's strong. Muchas gracias. Oh my goodness, guys, that was so good. I'm so happy I stopped by this place. The food was really good. I'm happy that I can say that I finally tried Cuban food and the coffee, it hit the spot. So what do you guys think? Is this a place that you would consider checking out if you ever visited Miami? Let me know down in the comments below. And with that, today's video comes to an end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And always remember to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.